Isn't it interesting that there's two huge strikes happening right now or about to happen? One is underway, one's about to happen. GM and Kaiser Permanente. Um, but, uh, and isn't that a coincidence that it's happening right now during the 2020 presidential election cycle between Democrats and Republicans? And everyone, everyone knows this is not up for debate. It's not opinion. Everyone knows that labor unions of any type are always of the left and of the Democrats. Um, and so first we had the talks of recession, which were made up. And um, it was just something to distract people and try to get them to think the economy isn't that great when it's broke every record ever set by mankind in the last forever. Especially employment and everything. So, given all that, now we have these big strikes. Don't you think there's some whispering behind the scenes, behind closed doors? Some whispering from the big corrupt Democrats that are in Congress? to the little, little labor union leaders saying, hey, go cause some ruckus. Go do some strikes. Do whatever to hurt Trump's reputation. I, I think um, maybe it's true, maybe it's not, but I think it's an awful big coincidence that we see big labor strikes right when there's a presidential election between a Democrat and a Republican. Just saying, maybe I'm wrong, but normally I see things other people don't, and I'm normally right about those things, and they almost always come to fruition. I just absolutely don't think that's a coincidence. I think big-time Democrats are talking to small Democrats. We're talking to their peons in the field, which are union leaders, and telling them, hey, do whatever it takes to hurt the economy hurt the American worker, they don't care. They don't care about the American worker. They don't care about people. They don't care about jobs. They don't care about anyone. They care about one thing only. That's it. As the drool hangs off their fangs and the blood off their fangs, their blood-hungry, rabid people going after control. I'm not talking hard-working Democrats. I'm talking the people pulling the strings in Congress that should be imprisoned for treason, espionage, for what they've done to Kavanaugh, for what they've done to Trump, for what they've done to Republicans and Democrats. They've done it to their own people. The people in power that are so hungry for power that want to destroy lives should be put in prison, throw away the key, let's forget their names, and let's start with Hillary Clinton. Because I'm telling you, these Democrats are behind these strikes. I know it. There's no way in heck this is a coincidence. Bye-bye.